Hey, what's up, guys? How are you? So, uh, yeah, this is my Shabbat. And I'm just, uh, I got back for the weekend, it's Shavuot. And I'm just relaxing, enjoying myself, uh, working out. Uh, you know, just doing stuff that's going to regenerate me a little bit faster. Because, yeah, I do, have a, I do have a pretty bad cold right now. You can hear it by my voice. You can hear my nose. It's stuffed. It's getting better. Um... Something that I don't think was avoidable because, like I said, I'm in the army. I'm around all these people all day, sweating, fucking sleeping with, um, in one little room. Like, it's crazy. So, like, if one person's sick, it's going to get a lot of people sick really fast because you're in an enclosed space and it's hot. And when it's hot, germs tend to spread, you know, a little bit, a little bit faster because heat particles are expanded. Cold particles are compressed. So all these particles in the air from people coughing, sneezing, they're in the air, you know, I'm not going to get too deep into this and then it just spreads easier to people. So, um, I'm feeling better though. Uh, a couple of days ago, I was feeling bad. I was having some headaches. I, uh, how would I say it? Yeah. I was having like some pretty bad headaches. I would also, uh, cough a lot more. I couldn't breathe at all out of my nose. Like it was bad. It's like, I don't feel like, yeah, and I just didn't have the, I didn't have a lot of energy, right? At least today and yesterday, I uh, started having more energy. I hit the gym yesterday, I hit the gym today. Uh, I've been feeling really good. My workouts have been feeling pretty good. So I know, like, there's a sign that I've been doing better. I've been sleeping better. I didn't sleep for two days. And you know what? It's okay. Like, this is just part of, you know, the hardships that I'm going through. I'm in a completely different environment with a different climate around a bunch of people, <clears throat> you know, like I'm not living in the best conditions, the military, but it's okay. Cause it's going to teach me to be more grateful, you know, towards life. I feel like at the end when I'm going to be a civilian again, even when I'm a civilian now, back then, I'll tell you this, this is what I noticed. I, uh, I enjoy my Shabbats a lot more now. I'm a little bit more grateful for the fact that like, I get to, you know, make this video right now. I get to have the time to make the video and not worry about, like, the next hour. Here, I'm a little bit more relaxed. My time is a little bit more expanded. Because <clears throat> I come back, I'm, you know, I'm basically as a civilian on Shabbat. I get, you know, I do my civilian stuff. I hit the gym, like usual. I can't do that in the Army. So, I'm a lot more grateful now towards, like, the, the one and a half day, the two days that I have to relax. I'm definitely really grateful for that. I get to unwind and kind of, you know, decompress a bit. And then, yeah, and then I go back to the army and, you know, everything is done by the premise of how they want you to do it. Which is going to be obviously living conditions that are not civilian type of living conditions. And you know what? It's good because it gets me... To be more thankful to the little things in this world that we all take for granted. A nice bed. Come on. We all take a nice bed for granted. <clears throat> Even I did. And I thought I didn't. Because, yeah, that bed in the army, it's, it's, you know, it's an army bed. Yeah. I'll tell you this. I'm pretty fucking wide. My shoulder droops off like the bed a little bit. If I sleep on my back, which is how I usually try to sleep. Which is annoying. I also always got to fix myself in the middle of my sleep. Because my shoulder literally comes off the bed. I'm like, oh my god. So, when I come up to a bed that I sleep on, and I know I sleep on good, I, how would I say it? You know, I'm a little more thankful for that. I really am. I'm more thankful for, you know, the. Uh, I get to eat, you know, better food on Shabbat. At my grandma's or the kibbutz or wherever I go. And like little things like that. I'm really like you know what. It's like imagine. You're going through life. And there's like a rubber band that's pulling you back right. And you think it's like setting you back. But you know it's not. Because it's hard. You're going to be going through hard times. And I feel like with the military it's something where. It's like a rubber band that pulls you back. But then. If your head is, you know, if you're on the right path, which you are, that spring will fucking, what's it called, explode you forward. 
way further than if there was no spring pulling you through life and nothing hard was happening in your life, you know? So that's the way I think about it. It's like a spring that's literally like a rubber band that's pulling you back. And it's going to pull you back and you're going to feel like you're having some setbacks in life. But understand that you're not and you're going forward, you know? That's just how it is. And, it, you know, yeah, you want to get launched. And the only way you're going to get launched further, think about it this way. This is the mentality I would say you got to have. And this is the, something I realized. There's, like I said, a few things I realized a couple of days ago. There's some mental hardships that I had with myself that I'm realizing now. It's like it's going to have to push me forward, which is, you know, there's certain life choices you're going to have to make in life. And they're going to be very, you know, stressful and difficult. But you have to understand that you can't break down because of those life choices. And you're going to have to keep on going. And I will tell you this. Like I said, if you keep your head on the right track. Imagine, like I said, a rubber band making you explode forward. Way further in life. And ahead of who you would have been if you didn't have these hard choices to make in life. Think about it that way. So... It's like with the military, do I enjoy it? To be honest, throughout the day, not really, but it's okay because I know the fact that I am enjoying is I'm going to be more disciplined. I'm moving ahead. You know, every day of basic training, I'm moving ahead. I'm trying to learn new. I'm learning. I'm trying. I am. I'm learning how to speak a lot better. I'm learning new words, writing stuff down, you know. Hearing a little stuff throughout the conversation and figuring out like what these words are, you know, and there's certain things I don't understand because they speak all Hebrew and I'm like, I like the first day, couple of the days I came there, <coughs> they were speaking shit up Hebrew and I'm like, yo, like what the heck? I don't understand shit. I'm serious. That's how I was. And... I was like, oh, damn, like, I really got to, like, this was a big wake-up call. I really got to get, you know, things cranking over here and start comprehending every situation in a way where I'm going to be, you know, getting something out of it, which is learning the language and learning how to deal with certain army regulations and rules to get you, you know, you know, ahead. So, as, like, you know, as I always think about it, you got to make sure you're aware of all the situations around you and take the most out of them. And that's what's like I said is going to push you ahead. And you can only do that if you're going to be making important choices for yourself, your life, your future, your family members. And if that's in your hands, then you better make the right choice. If there's a hook and you want to grab onto that hook and there's a lot of people, you know, like your parents, your relatives, Certain people that truly love you telling you not to do it. And you start understanding subconsciously that you really shouldn't do this choice. Why would you go ahead and do it? Because it's easier? Is that why? Come on now. If it's a hard choice, then you better, you know, maybe start listening to the people that love you. And that are only want the best for you. Don't want to see you fail in life, but you're letting, but I'm letting my ego get in the way of that, you know, and embrace easiness, which I know it's not going to be like that. So sometimes you might have to listen to the people who have been through a lot, who have been through what you have, or going through what you have. Parents, elders, you might get mad at them for telling you something, but like, I want you to sit down and start evaluating every situation you and your parents, let's say, think different of. And then start thinking about the fact, oh, they've been living here for almost three times longer than I have. Maybe they know a little bit of something that I don't know because they've had experience in this. So... I, I'm not always right. And, you know, if someone says they're always right, then that's bullshit. Because no one's always right and no one's perfect. And I know I'm not perfect and there's certain things I need to work on, which is be making better decision choices rather than based off of my ego. What's going to feel easier, I got to let go of that. I really do. And that's just something that I've been working on myself, letting go of that. So sometimes really listen to your elders 
if they've been through certain things that are telling you certain things, you know, like if you know your ego is pulling, you know, is stopping you from being the best version of yourself because you want to do what feels easier and you're basing everything off of your feelings, then you're not going to get far and that's going to be a big setback in anything you do. So get advice Listen to yourself, but also, you know, get the opportunity and really embrace what other people are telling you around you that really love you and you know love you and only want the best for you. And maybe something out of that cluster of options, you're going to find something that's truly the best. It's going to be hard, but it's going to get you ahead. And that really could be what my parents are telling me. So it's something I really have to sit down with myself and think. It's not an easy choice, but it's a choice that's going to get me ahead. So really, you know, start sitting down and thinking about what options you're going to be taking to better yourself and understanding that what your close ones, your relatives say, people that truly love you and only want the best for you and evaluate what they're saying and think about it. Sit down and talk to yourself. Sometimes I realize you know, through all of this, through like going to a different country, joining the military and not even knowing the language, like maybe 10% of it, if that, it's like, <clears throat> it's like something where you hear my voice, I'm sick, obviously, but it's more so uh, a fact that like, I have to talk to myself sometimes and understand what I'm doing that's right and what I'm doing that's wrong. And what I'm doing that's wrong, try to turn it around with other people's, like your relatives' advice and working on yourself. That's all the video's about. Again, it started off with a little story about like what's leading up to all these events. And it ended off with like what I've been realizing for the past month I've been in the army. So it's something to sit down with talk to yourself and realize, you know, what you're doing that you can really, uh, work on. And there's a lot of things that I can work on that I'm in the process of. So, and I recommend you guys, you know, like I said, I'm not perfect. No one's perfect. Sometimes I recommend you guys sit down with yourself just for a bit alone. Go for a walk. I always say go for a walk. Sometimes, you know, after I go for a walk, I'll come to like a bench and sit, just sit down and really start d diving deep into myself, diving deep into everything. You know, not all the time, but sometimes I do. When I have the time for it, which is why I said I'm more thankful for the these Shabbats. And, uh, you know, time for myself. Because if you find time for yourself, it's not sitting down and smoking a freaking cigarette. If you think that's time for yourself, get you're out of your mind. I would say time for yourself is diving deep into yourself and evaluating what your faults are, and working on becoming better. And that's what, you know, this time it gives me to me for. Alright guys, that's it for the video. I'm going to see you later.